gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Welcome back everyone to the channel that is Deb Chanel Sporty Explorer coming right to you Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your participation, all your communication down in those comment sections over there taking them polls, just showing out, just speaking your mind and giving your two cents here and there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want y'all to continue looking at my videos, continue interacting with one another. Just be respectful. You know, that's one of my big things. And like and share and subscribe to my channel so I can blow up with 10,000. Guys, yes, you know I'm going to bug you. Every video, you're going to see that. So you might as well get used to it, okay? Because it ain't no stopping us. It ain't no stopping us. Don't tell me what we can't do if we put ourselves together. We'll become an unbeatable force. But now y'all came here to see this video, this must-see video, because I can't believe shit myself. I sure cannot. We got it from Celebrity Insider, guys. Yes, Celebrity Insider. Okay, and uh, Ricky Masters is over there shaking the tree limbs, <coughs> excuse me, shaking the tree limbs and letting the leaves fall off. These two beautiful women, yes, from the Housewives of Atlanta franchise, you know they had a terrible, turbulent past, you know, Kenya and all her silliness, she, you know, she was immature at the time, I don't care what my Ken Kenya supporters say, she was immature, anybody gonna put a big ass bull horn in your face and a scepter and be talking junk, now you know they ain't got but a little bit of time for you to make up your mind that you got to go pop some ass, you know what I'm saying, I'm just saying old school, you know what I'm saying, okay, I hope you know, hopefully you understand what I'm saying, but never in my lifetime would I have dreamed after Kenya and Portia acting like Kids out there on the playground and uh, dragging one another, they will actually come up and be pregnant around the same time, getting ready to deliver around the same time. Maybe a couple of months difference, you know what I'm saying? And then having play dates with their children. Yes, don't they look playful and joyful and peaceful? Now, you know, I broke my cardinal rule. I don't like showing babies on my uh, channel, but with this video, I had to, to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? But then they got stuck with two duds. Handsome as they are, charismatic, charismatic as they may be, they got stuck with some duds of some men, okay? And they have one enemy that they uh, plan on Double teaming and Candy gonna be watching on all fronts, okay? Nene Leaks is their nemesis. She trying to think she got Porsche in her pocket, but she don't. Porsche over there swirling with, uh, not swirling, but she's uh forming an alliance with Kenya Moore over there. That's her best bud. That's her ride or die chick. Cause we know Porsche ain't got no problem with putting hands on nobody. She may have went to anger management. <laughs> But it just managed her how to divide her time on how she going to beat somebody's ass without it being filmed on camera, okay? But Portia still got that fight in her. Portia still got that fight on, in her. But she's a queen. She is. Yes, she is. She looking so gorgeous sitting in that chair on her throne. And, you know, Tora has always come. And she's like, bow down, itches, okay? And my Beyonce voice. Yes, if you didn't check my other video out, it had some issues going on, and I had to retitle it, but it was the same video, so if y'all didn't get a chance to look at it, look at it again, okay? Same video. I think I put it as bow down, uh, Kenya Moore asked Didi to bow down because she's the real queen or something to that effect, okay? But I just want to get on into the get down to the get down and talk about this video. Yes, yeah, Celebrity Insider brought it out, like I told you, uh, Rick and Mathers had uh, posed the article or story, and he titled it as so. Portia confronts the reality that Dennis was unfaithful, and Kenya confides that she and Mark are having problems. Okay, for season 12, we're going to read on through it, okay, because it was giving me nothing but tea. But like I said, I try to read it with you all uh, so we can just digest it together or throw it up if we have to, okay, regurgitation. But it seemed like it was some fresh, fresh food they're going to try to deliver us for our soul, okay? So we're going to get right into it. It says, the summary for the episode one cleverly titled, The More the Merrier Reads. Kenya Relish, Relish, excuse me, Kenya Relish, Re, no, I'm sorry, Kenya Relish, her new role as mother to daughter, Brooklyn. Portia's relationship with Dennis hit a rough patch. 
A guest shows up at Candace's restaurant to reveal shocking news about Dennis. Okay. Cynthia is obsessed about getting engaged. And we know Cynthia's already gotten engaged. I don't know who this mystery woman coming down to the OLG restaurant want to throw tea. Because I got enough of that shit when my Apollo girlfriend or fiance going to try to drop tea on Phaedra and, and, and what's going on. And that was just a hot mess of a scene. So now they're they trying to play up something similar. Now nah, they need to come with it again. How Lauren Hill said, you ain't clean with them. Come again. Come again. Come again. We don't want no refurbished mess. We want straight out, straight, new, fine smelling stuff. Okay. As a storyline. But anyway, we digress. We're going back to the article. It says the guest is expected to be Sincerely Ward. Now, if you don't know who Sincerely Ward is, she is allegedly, um, I like to say a show tune girl. Some people say whole prostitute. Some people say lady of the night. <laughs> is that ringing a bell? Am I climbing up? Marla Hampton's truth. Okay. Lady of the evening. But she's supposed to be some kind of escort to the rich and famous or the lucrative men out there in society that may dwell in Atlanta. Or they may come from states like New York, California, Texas, you know, women, wherever, whoever, you know what I'm saying? They have a healthy price to be spending time with these men, okay? They can come out with cars. They can come out with apartments, houses. They can come out with a shopping spree to Paris, Milan, Italy, you, just in and in everything. Just depends on how good that Uchi is. You get what I'm saying? All right. But anyway, they say the guest is expected to be Sincerely Ward, who appeared in a recent preview where she declared that she was the mistress. Okay. And if anybody thinking you, you're still not where I am, she was the one, meaning Sincerely Ward, was put on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere she could be seen that she's supposed to be been. Uh, uh, we call it uh hanging it low and spreading it wide with uh well laying it low, spreading it wide. Thank you, Mama Joyce. Not Mama Joyce, I'm sorry. Thank you, Evelyn from the Braxton. Evelyn Braxton said that about her ex husband. Okay. Laying it low and spreading it wide for the whole congregation to take part. Okay. But anyway, uh she was the one that's supposed to be fooling with Dennis McKinley while he supposedly been hanging out with Portia proposing to Portia and trying to make a life with Portia. He still had her on the side when he was supposed to be at work or out doing some business adventures out of town, you know, whatever. He was hanging out with her, okay? So that's pretty much halted the brakes on uh, Portia getting married. I, I really hope she think about this thing, you know, because like, like I said, he ain't the one. He ain't the one. Just like I'm hoping for Cynthia to pull through with dropping that opportunist uh Mike Hill, but you know, that's just my pun intended. That's just my feeling. They got nothing to do with what y'all may think, okay? Because we do two different personalities. We we may come like Kendra Spears and agree on some things, but some things we're not gonna agree on. And I just feel that way. Okay, I'm sorry, that's my sidebar. Let me move on back to the article. But yes, yeah, she is the one that's supposed to be hanging out and doing a dirty nasty with uh Dennis McKinley while she was engaged, while he was engaged to Portia at the time, and then they called it off. You remember the mama and the sister stopped following him, and then Portia stopped following him. And, you know, this is a hot mess, hot mess, okay? That was during the summer, this past summer. Okay, but going back to the article, it said, um, the guest is expected to be sincerely war, who appeared in a recent preview. <laughs> where she declared that she was the mistress. Earlier this year, she and Dennis McKinley sparked cheating rumors which rocked Portia Williams' world, okay? Um, episode 2, a.k.a. Cheating Heart, preview states Cynthia and Kenya, I'm sorry, Cynthia and Candy tried to clean up the mess in the aftermath of the Barbie bash. Kenya unleashes her unfiltered thoughts on Cynthia while struggling to make sense of her relationship. Portia drops a bomb that no one is expected. The following week will air on installment titled The Float Goes On and reveals even Cynthia get closer. As some of the ladies get ready to head to World Pride in New York City, Kenya confides that she and Mark are having problems. Candy and Todd debate parenting styles. Nene returns with a new outlook on life and great news. That program will let viewers into Kenya's Moore's mind before she made the shocking decision to divorce Mark daily after just two years of marriage. See, this is all taking full circle and developing a big storm on the horizon, meaning a, a season 
12 coming in that says my sidebar i stopped reading uh commenting on this article when it says two years of marriage this is my sidebar y'all know i have a few of them when i'm doing my videos but it's pretty much giving us a parlay of what the first part of the taping was about and they were trying to catch everything that was coming out in social media about Dennis, you know, all this bestiality, you know, him having sex with animals, him going around chewing all these different women on Portia, you know, and all that kind of stuff um, amongst she, uh, her had just been getting engaged with Bravo. And then she was pregnant all the same time, too. So, you know, Bravo had to go rush into production and get all that stuff caught on, up on film. And, um... From what I hear on those streets, they caught a lot of it because Portia was giving it to them because she was half mad, half lit, and, and it was just, it was just, what was was, you know, it might make her look pretty bad when they cut the film and edit it how they wanted to edit to, you know, drum up biz as far as consumers coming in looking at their product, you know, it might make her look bad, but, you know, hey, it's supposed to be a reality show, so they give us a little reality, and they give us a whole lot of mess, okay, in between, we have to have to sift through it. But going back to the arc, it said, finally, any leaks and Cynthia Bailey will go head to head after the model's ultimate betrayal of inviting Kenya to her party in season 11 finale. Viewers will also learn the truth about McKinley's inappropriate behavior. OK, I don't know what the inappropriate behavior is. And I hope it ain't because she sneaked on Mike telling Candy and then Mike and hit ear. Oh, I was supposed to know that Kenya's supposed to be coming. I'm like, Cynthia, 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 Cynthia. Who are you that nervous being on, on film? I mean, you've been a model. you used to all these lights, camera, action. I mean, come on, girl. What, what was you doing? What was you thinking when we were rolling? They were rolling tapes. You trying to whisper in my ear. You might do it. Like, we're going to hear everything because the mic is right on your chest. But anyway, moving on from there, going back to the article, it says the fourth hour's name, Love. Marriage and Sour Peaches, and its synopsis says, On Top of the Float for World Pride. Cynthia and Nene come face to face. For the first time since their fallout, Portia confronts the reality that Dennis was unfaithful. Kenya is forced to acknowledge the growing divide in her long-distance marriage. Okay? And that's pretty much it. This is all these little snippet snaps they're supposed to be giving us, gearing up to what we're going to see on Sunday coming. Okay? And now you know I'm going to be asking, and they're asking too, will you be returning for the premiere of Real Housewives of Atlanta come November 3rd? Eastern Standard uh, Standard Time Zone, 8 o'clock is when we'll be assessing, taking notes, and getting ready to put it out on my platform and giving it to you straight with no chaser because you know if it's mess, I'm going to tell you how I felt about it. It's a hot mess, okay? But that's all I have for this video, y'all. We keep gearing it up. I keep getting salacious stories here and there. And by the time we get it on Sunday, we're going to be pumped. <laughs> And if it ain't starting out on a 10, I'm going to be mad as chicken pox. You know how you get chicken pox? You be mad and, and just frustrated and you just want to just fall out and cry like a child. But well, that's how I'm going to be, y'all. That's how I'm going to be if they don't give it to me because they don't serve me nice appetizers throughout the whole three uh, months we were waiting for them to come back. I, you know, being peekaboo here, peekaboo there. This character saying this, this character saying that. You know, they doing this out in social media, you know, just gearing up for this big hoopla. So I hope it is what it is. Or I'm going to be hot and mad. OK, but anyway, that's all I had for this particular video. And again, subscribe, <coughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my video channel and let's blow up together. And I'll be here for one more video tonight, and then I'm going to call it quits and lay my behind down somewhere unless I roll up on another story. And then, you know, I got to pop it out to y'all. I got to pop it out to y'all because I don't want y'all going wasting your money and your time to the grocery store or some magazine rack when y'all don't get it here. Just giving me 20 minutes of your time, and I'm going to give you a whole lot of entertainment so y'all can digest on or throw it in the trash. But at least you know it didn't cost you no money. It may cost a little bit of your time, okay? A little bit of effort trying to stay up with me. But I try to entertain you as we go along this road, honey. Get your coffee, get your tea, get your orange juice, or get your BYOB. And I'm talking about the alcohol, okay? And let's ride this street, this journey together. All right, guys. It's a family affair. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.